first off, Bradley Beal has the second worst contract in the NBA behind only Zach Levine. All Don't right. say it. Zach Levine is having so much of a better season than Bradley Beal. It's not even close. No, not worst even. contract on the league is Bradley Beal. No. Zach Levine's on-ball defense in the second half of the season, forget about it. Okay, you want to hear this? Bradley Beal, first off, way more efficient of a score. Average like the same exact stats while shooting 51% from the field. Same exact stats. Way more efficient of a score. All right, defensive rating this year? Probably ass, but his defensive rating this season was, yeah, ass. All right. And am I missing something? Did, did, huh. It's weird. I don't. I don't know. I, don't, I just don't remember Bradley Beal scoring twenty five game this year. Yeah, Bradley Beal put up twenty five a game. There's no way he did. He did twenty three point six, bro. It's that's not twenty. That's not twenty five. That's like rounding up. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay, we're. I don't know. I don't. He, I, he's not leaving. Bradley Beal doesn't want to leave. I, and he's not getting traded because oh, also Christoph you know, Porzingis and Kyle Kuzma have both basically announced that they are resigning. Did yeah, you see that? That's great because their star player, supposed star player, still doesn't believe that they have enough. So I guess that just means they need they need some better depth. Bradley Beal. Bradley uh, Beal first off averaged twenty three point five, so incorrect. Um, and Bradley Beal shot thirty six and a half from downtown, fifty and a half from the field. Zach Levine shot. 45, 48.5% from the field, 37.5% from downtown. So I'm throwing the efficiency out the window. I'm grabbing it. I'm throwing it out the window. All right. So yesterday, Christoph Porzingis said, I feel at home here. I love the city when asked about free agency and that Christoph Porzingis says him and Denny Avdia will spend the entire summer working out together. And he really hopes to bring out the best of Denny Avdia's game. Johnny Davis says he expects to play in the Las Vegas Summer League. And Kyle Kuzma said, I mean, Denny Avdia said that he's will not, he's unlikely to play for the Israeli national team because he wants to spend the whole summer focusing on his three-point shooting and left-handed dribbling, while as well saying that uh, Kyle Kuzma is not his dad after Kuzma said he was a proud dad for uh, for Denny Avdia's fashion sense growing this uh, this year. And Bradley Beal says he won't use his no trade clause as a trump card for leverage with the Wizards front office, even though he called this season a disappointment and he, even though he believes he has to be more available and take better care of his body. Monte Morris says showed support and belief in his head coach and that Wes Unseld wants the Wizards to play faster next year and that's going to be their goal and identity and everybody will be on the same page. And, you know... Wes, Wes Unsell Jr. has now twice in the past two days referenced how there was no locker room drama this season. An overwhelming pulse of the group was, pos, you know, was positive. And Tommy Shepard, Wizards president, said re-signing Kyle Kuzma and Christoph Porzingis is the number one priority and goal for this team. With even though they were disgusted with their record and performance this season, so it's going to be interesting to see how this all plays out because Kyle Kuzma says recently it's not about the money I'm going to get paid regardless and it's whether here or dc he's just like i want to be the best version of myself i love where i live i love this city so it, every day that passes the core is going to be for and Corey kesford's the best three you saw that yesterday came out guess who's the best second year three-point shooter in the league oh good for him Corey kesford yep and guess who's a top five three-point shooter on the season Corey kesford right here Corey Kesper was, a, I'm pretty sure, a better three-point shooter than Steph Curry this year. Better three-point shooter than Klay Thompson, Damian Lillard. Like, Corey Kesper, arguably a top three three-point shooter in the league. Mm -hmm. Can we give a quick uh, round of applause? I know it's the end of the season, and you saw guys like Theo Pinson with triple-double, right? Theo uh, Pinson had a triple-double? Didn't he? No fucking way. I believe he did. All right, but continue your little thing. Mr. J. Huff, the Holy G League fuck. dog. 40 minutes, 23 points, 13 rebounds, and 12 assists, 5 of 10. Yeah. Theo yeah. Petson just extended his career six more years. Yeah, well, he's a, he's, a, <laughs> he's a dog, but I don't know if you remember Jay Huff. Uh, oh, yeah, at, Jay Huff on the Wizards came out of yeah. nowhere. <laughs> Jay Huff played more minutes this season than Isaiah Todd, and Isaiah Todd was drafted. 
yeah, the last three games, they let him loose. He had double-digit points in all of them on extremely efficient shooting. But the reason I mention that is because I remember watching the G League playoffs and Mr. Jay Huff was just balling his ass off. He's throwing like 20 and 15. It's like it was nothing. Uh, Bra- so, Rocket News, Bradley Beal is in his prime. He's just not been healthy. I think there was a quote right there where Bradley Beal says, I need to take better care of his body. And I think Bradley Beal might be insinuating that he might not be on that LeBron treatment, you know, on the LeBron body regimen. And maybe that's something that he's thinking about doing. I just think the core of his team, Gafford, Porzingis, Kuzma, Monte Morris, Bradley Beal, Denny Abdia, Corey Kesper. That's what, like seven guys. I think everybody else should be expendable. Like you keep, you know, three. I love Monty, but I think he's, I think he's quite. Oh, I agree. I agree. The point guard rotation of DeLon Wright, Monte Morris, but I also believe that if you bring in a guy like Tyus Jones and then you have Monte Morris and DeLon Wright, that's one of the better back. That's one of the better three point guards in the league rotation. Brogdon on an expiring. No, I think he has one more year. Okay. Yeah. And... Bradley Beal's in his, he just played his 11th season. He's definitely in his, in his prime. He, he just needs the, get and stay healthy he couldn't catch a break this year um yeah i do like i'll I'll do like a lot of the the young pieces that the wizards have kp did a great job as well johnny davis closed out the season for us dude he was freaking terrible what pick are you guys gonna have this year probably 10 again same spot yeah like i'm hoping i I really hope there's three guys we take kasan wallace Anthony Black mm. or Taylor Hendricks. Anthony Black would be money. Yeah. I just don't think I if we draft the wing, I'm I'm so mad. If we draft another wing, <laughs> I'll be like, we have Corey Casper, Kyle Kuzma, and Downey Avia. Where is this guy gonna get playing time? Yeah. If we draft the wing. All right. I I think right now, this offseason, you trade Johnny Davis, Isaiah Todd. Oh wow. Oh. You trade any young guy. Why do we have young guys? We can't develop. I honestly think trade our freaking pick. I. You want to hear who? We talked about this. Our last 10 picks since we drafted Bradley Beal has been like Otto Porter Jr., Troy Brown Jr. Uh, yeah, we and, did talk about this. Yeah, we, I think there's been five picks in the last Thomas 10 Bryan. years. Tom, no, Thomas Bryan wasn't there. Bradley Beal, oh. I mean, with this round picks all right like this team can't be trusted to draft all right this team should not be trapped all right last year johnny davis and your neck zoza the year before that Corey kesper the year before that denny avdua the year before that re hachimura the year before that troy brown the year before that jerry and grant but they immediately traded him to the the knicks then the year before that in the second round they traded jordan clarkson the year before that auto porter the year before that bradley beal okay the year before that jan vesley the year before that, John Wall. The year before that, Jermaine Taylor. The year before that, JaVale McGee. That, Nick Young. All right. There's a guy we drafted in the first round that I don't even think ever came to America. No, he did. He did. He played three seasons in America and was so bad. Yeah, trading away is not the worst idea. Just go get established guys that we don't have to worry about developing. That's what I think, at least. Yeah. Yeah. Which, like, it's not bad. Cool. Tyus Jones on every team, Chris, would be freaking money. Tyus Jones on any team. He's the, he's yeah. like Kevin Durant. He's one of the plug and play players in the world that you don't even have to worry about roster fit. Yeah. We also drafted a guy who was five years ago at 23, and we traded his draft rights to the Knicks, and he's now part of the Rockets. But he's 20. Uh, Isifu. Sa non. Wow, I actually have no idea who that is. I have no idea who it is either. But I do want to see his stats now. Because like is he is he good? Like are we missing out on something? He never no. played for the Rockets. No, that. he never made it. He never came yeah. to America. <laughs> yeah, we're, nobody's missing out on anything. This is another guy. We wasted f- the 18th overall pick on this fuck. Look at this. Three seasons. That's awful. All righty, 